Good evening. You're watching the main news on HKRBC. I'm Raymond Yeung. And I'm Karen Yeung. Here's a look at tonight's top stories. Lechko by election in West Kowloon underway. Humiliating defeat of Taiwan's ruling DPP casts doubt on Tsai Ing-wen's re-election hopes. And EU swiftly approves draft Brexit plan in Brussels. The Legislative Council by election for the Kowloon West constituency is underway. Polls are closing in about two hours. As of 7.30 p.m., the voter turnout stood at 35.8 percent, with 174,413 voters casting their ballots. The turnout rate is almost identical to the by-election in March, when another Kowloon West seat was vacant, but 8.6 percent lower than the 2016 polls. Throughout the day, the five candidates wasted no time, making final pitches to canvass for votes across the constituency. But some tactics have drawn controversy. Although polls showed she was going into the Legislative Council by election with strong support, journalist-turned-politician Rebecca Chen was not letting her guard down. She was accompanied by her former boss, ex-health chief Ko Wing Man, as she toured the West Kowloon constituency. More pro-government heavyweights, including former LegCo President Zhang yuk sing appeared in the afternoon to give Chan a boost during the last hours of her campaign. Despite the camp's full support, Chan called it an uphill battle. She added that the rain may discourage some from voting. A special edition of pro-Beijing newspaper Ta Kung Pao was seen being distributed for free at some empty R exits and housing estates in the constituency, calling for voters to support Chen. The move has drawn accusations that the distribution was a violation of electoral rules, but Chen denied having any links to it. <laughs> Meanwhile, major pro-democracy parties rallied for the camp's designated candidate Li Chak Yan. The race was said to be a neck-and-neck -neck battle between the Labour Party veteran and Chen. Democratic Party founding chairman Martin Lee showed up in the heavy rain in the afternoon to support Lee. Lee said he was not optimistic about the results and called upon supporters to cast their ballots. A high voter turnout would increase his chances, he added. Earlier, Lee came across rival Frederick Fong in a Chinese restaurant in Shakit May as they were both canvassing for votes. Fong, a former pro-democracy lawmaker, has been accused of splitting the camp's support. He has repeatedly denied the allegations and stressed that his support came from both sides. Minutes later, a presiding officer entered the restaurant and demanded that Lee's team leave. The building was located in a no canvassing zone. But Lee argued that the restaurant was private property. Four members of Lee's campaign team were also warned over holding banners outside the restaurant. There was no such drama with the two remaining candidates, Judy Zheng and Ng Dek He. Zheng's campaign has focused on building management issues. I have come this far without any resources, without financial support and without backing of any political parties. I think there could be a miracle, she said. Ng, an IT worker, continued to reach out for support, but he was frank about his chances. He wanted to get 3 percent of the vote in order to get back his election deposit, and he was optimistic he would. The Electoral Affairs Commission has received 214 complaints as of 5 p.m. regarding election advertising and canvassing in restricted areas. After inspecting a polling station earlier in the day, Commission Chairman Barnabas Fong said he would not comment on the complaints unless they were substantiated. As to whether a front-page report by a pro-Beijing newspaper constituted as an election ad, he said the Commission would look into the case and notify the ICAC if necessary. He also urged voters to avoid a last-minute rush and head to polling stations as soon as possible. Today's by-election is critical to both the pro-government and pro-democracy camps. 
A win for the pan-democrats will give them their veto power back in the Legislative Council geographical constituency. But some voters said they were tired of political shows and demanded more focus on livelihood issues. After weeks of campaigning by Kowloon West Legislative Council candidates, voters finally headed to the polls today to select a lawmaker. The seat was left vacant last year. All 73 polling stations in the constituency were opened at 7.30 a.m. to some 487,000 registered voters. Some people headed to polling stations bright and early. There is too much shouting in the legislature. I hope lawmakers can communicate in a peaceful and rational manner, this voter said. I don't want the one country, two systems principle derailed for the next generation, another photo said. He also hoped the legislators would not blindly follow the party line and would debate livelihood issues with facts. Constructive opinions and pushing the government to improve land and housing supply policies was what this photo wanted from lawmakers. Photos said they felt the candidates were striving hard for their support. The West Kowloon seat was left vacant after Lao Tzu Lai was disqualified for improper oath-taking. The election is critical to both camps. The pro-establishment camp currently has a majority in both the geographical and functional constituencies of Lechko, and a win today would maintain that advantage. While the pan-democrats need to win back their seat in order to regain veto power in the geographical constituency. Poll results of this race are expected to be available shortly after midnight. Now across the street.